So in this video, I wanted to talk about six features I love to see in NinjaTrader. And the way NinjaTrader decides if these features are going to be included is by based on how many votes each feature has. And to vote for a feature, all you have to do is email support at ninjatrader.com with a message like, I want to vote for the following feature requests and put in the SFT number, which I'm going to give you, uh, which is an internal tracking number that we will have on the screen as we discuss each feature below. So drop me a line in the comments if uh, you want to let me know what one you voted for and maybe in the order you'd like to see them. So let's get going. FT4891. So the market analyzer in NT8 allows you to have conditions, but those conditions are static. This feature request is to make them dynamic. So what is the use case? Okay, I'm going to use our XABCD pattern scanner, which is a way of using the market analyzer. Uh, but what we're going to do is let's just say we got alerted to a new XABCD pattern and it was being formed. And the current price is above whatever the closing price of yesterday was. So that's our, our sort of our rule set. We need a pattern that also has a current price above the close of whatever it was yesterday. Now, in this condition, the current price will be dynamic since it's always changing. And every time a pattern is found, the current price is probably going to be different. As well as... Uh, uh, the change saying yesterday, the open price of yesterday will be different for every 24 hour cycle. So having the ability for the market analyzer to understand dynamic conditions will allow you to do so much more. And even something as simple as uh, moving average crossovers, because you don't know at what price it's going to cross over or what value they'll cross over. It's going to be dynamic. So that would be extremely useful for a bunch of people. SFT910. So right now the market analyzer links instruments, but it does not link timeframes. What we want to do is we want to have it so that when we click on a cell in the market analyzer, the instrument will change, which it currently does, but also the time frame. Because a lot of people, what they do is they have different columns set up for every time frame they want to scan. Very common. And then they want to click on that one particular cell and have it change the instrument link as well as, and this is what would be new, the interval link. So if you wanted to click in a market analyzer and click on a 30 minute uh, time frame on a certain instrument, you would then have to go that chart and even though the t the instrument got changed, you would have to change the interval. And that can get really annoying. There are some workarounds that we've kind of tried to put in place uh, using macros and hotkeys and stuff like that to make things a little bit easier, but it would be so much better if it was included. SFT123. So this is for an undo button for, let's just say the last drawing objects you do or whatever it might be. Sometimes we delete something on a chart and we want it back or we want to add something temporarily and have an easy way to remove it, uh, you know, to the previous state. Countless reasons of why an undo button could and would be useful for traders, uh, especially for efficiency. So uh, SFT123 is the ability to have an undo button in NinjaTrader. SFT611. So this is the ability to search for an indicator in the list of the long list of indicators that NinjaTrader has built into it with so many built in. A search would make things so much more easier uh, to try and find something that would be a simple improvement over uh, the current usability of the indicators and the scroll bars and stuff that they currently use. So being able to uh, type in partial letters of an indicator and have stuff uh, actively searched or indexed would be a great way to uh, do it. SFT889. So this is the ability to place a trade in multiple accounts within NinjaTrader at the same time. So this would be really handy. For instance, let's just say you had two different accounts, but you want to take off targets at two different times. Maybe it's for testing purposes, stuff like that. But placing uh, the same orders in different accounts uh, would be another feature request, which is SFT889. SFT2338. This is a way of previewing the way ATM orders will place 
uh, targets and stops. So if you could have, let's just say an ATM order active, if it would show you a preview, maybe with like high opacity or something on where those stops and targets would go, because for instance, you can say with an ATM to risk 1% of uh, that particular account, uh, where would that stop then therefore be? You know, it'd be very handy to be able to see when the ATM order gets filled, where is those stops and targets and, and have them dynamically updated. So I don't know if that's something that they'll do, but I think it'd be pretty slick if they were able to do something like that. So earlier on, we had a few feature requests of our own that we kind of just developed software for, pushed out there free for you guys. One is to have news uh, written on your charts for you so that there's no surprises there. And the other one is to have a price line drawn right across your chart. And you can get both of those indicators at xcbcdtrading.com. They're totally free. Uh, but that basically wraps up my six new feature requests. I'd love to see these in future builds. If you have uh, any other feature requests of your own that you'd like to see, comment below. I'd love to hear them uh, and try to include that SFT number if you have it so other users can vote on it too. But I'd be very interested to see uh, what you guys find most important are the ones that we listed as well as your own that you'd like to see in there. Just throw them in the comments and I'll get back to you and maybe we can pool some people together and see if we can get stuff like that done. So uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.